And Cell did it again. They took the classic AD310 and added Bluetooth. How cool is that? Now it's a wireless OBD code reader. Now it connects to your smartphone. This video is brought to you by Ansel. Got another nice product here. Got the Ansel AD310. It's another, it's a code reader. Stick it in your car and see what's wrong with it. You can plug it in and use it just like this without Bluetooth or you can connect it to your smartphone and you can have it wirelessly that really makes it handy yeah the classic AD310 has been out for years but they did one step further they they put in uh, put in Bluetooth that gives you a wireless wireless connection on your smartphone and you gotta download the app we'll get over here and we'll and sell app you get on the Play Store now when you plug this in this is what you're gonna see you're gonna see Bluetooth mode or OBD2 mode okay here's the one of the codes P0050 key to control circuit bank 2 sensor 1 read a handheld just like that we're going to exit out and then we're going to go to Bluetooth. Okay, we're back on Bluetooth mode. We'll hit that. Please download and sell up. We already did that. So now we'll go to the screen. So now all I got to do is lay this in the floorboard and we'll go back to the studio. You just got to take your card right here. You can go to the Ansel website right here. You can go for you can go for Android right here or you can go for iOS right here on that one. Okay, this is what the what the app looks like. You turn the little wheel right here. My vehicle, battery check, diagnostics diagnostic report help feedback flashlight DTC lookup just put in your code right there it's pretty cool settings member center my devices my vehicle now you do got to put you do got to put your uh, VIN numbers in there. Battery check. Start engine. See if I can get the lock here. Okay, let's see, it went up to 14 volts. graph there it went down that's going back up okay we don't need a bunch of fumes in here okay that's pretty cool I see it's dropping back down 11.757271 voltage reference okay here's where you put in your VIN number so it'll store all your VIN numbers in there. Okay, and it comes up with all these. You got vehicle self check, you got trouble code, data stream, dashboard, freeze frame, O2 sensors, onboard monitoring tests, vehicle information, and performance test. This performance test is pretty cool. Put that up there on your dash, it's like a heads up display. You can see the you can see it in real time. That's pretty cool. Now we'll go back to we'll go to a vehicle self check. Here's where you 
you got I am readiness trouble code freeze frame data stream O2 sensors that's about all the see it's checking it now this car needs um, it needs some O2 sensors and it needs a uh, at least one catalytic converter so we're gonna get that changed out this summer we're gonna pull it off a of one one car and we're gonna stick it on the other so that's our that's picking up all kind of codes isn't it pretty neat now I know when you're uh, I got the got the engine light out on the 96 van Ford van and I noticed that uh, when your engine lights not on you get much better gas miles so it's best to best to have them engine lights turned off okay we're gonna go into I am readiness that's what it's showing right now here's your here's your trouble codes try not to get any glare on that there's your trouble codes got a P0050 P0420 that's a catalyst system and one of them is the O2 sensor bank 2 sensor 1 that is bank one. Transmission control system. Uh, that's a that's a new one on me. P zero seven hundred. It's just fine. Trouble code. says a faulty transmission control module it just might be it's not running right now it just has the like the ignition on and no it's not started or running so that might be why it's got that code and you can hit the google button down there to look up them codes if you need to on your smartphone See down there on the bottom is the pending codes. Circuit two bank bank two bank two sensor one bank two sensor one and in here you can go into the settings. You can go into device settings. You can change the units. You can change the language screen settings about us and restore default settings if you kind of get it messed up you can go back and restore it to factory and you start all over that'll probably mess up your if you got any any VIN numbers in there too it'll probably wipe them off too so if you got several cars in there you might better write them down if you hit the restore default settings okay in the language it'll do english it'll do dutch espanol france and italy and china so it'll do all them yeah in english and it'll do all them languages so that's good to know yeah we're gonna we're gonna to try to get these fixed this year. I got the got the van done, like I say, and then we're gonna get this Cadillac done. Gonna pull the in, entire exhaust off the yeah the car, and we're gonna swap exhaust the Cadillac catalytic converters and the uh, O2 sensors and everything. We're gonna swap it all out because that that engine never did have any any of those kind of codes on it, so that should fix it. that'll be good to get that done yeah this Bluetooth is really cool you got got your flashlight and turn that on you got 
you can look up your codes there just punch in your your code number you got and you got a member center where you can log in and okay there's the help screen you can go in and click on which which one you have and you can get help on that particular device so we'll go over here to the Ancel 310 Bluetooth we got a demo video you can go in there and watch the demo video and you can connect the device, battery check, EVAP system and fax yeah there's another them heads up displays you can put up there on your dash and you can see it right through the windshield that's pretty cool of course the car's not running right now so it's not going to show anything but that's what it'll do do two gauges you got the you got your data stream you can put on there okay go grab you one of these AD 310 Bluetooth get you one over there on Amazon I'll leave a link down below pretty nice little unit I like it connects right to your phone so you can be right up under the hood doing your adjustments or whatever you need to do check it for connections and grounds and all your connectors on your on your sensors and then uh, you can also clear codes on this you can you can read them and you can also clear the codes on it a pretty handy little unit to have especially with the Bluetooth so I'll leave a link down below and this is a sponsored video and I thank you Ansel for sending this out to us so I appreciate it and thanks for watching